Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video we're going to take a look at type definitions and why you should use them. So let's get going. So to explain you why type definitions are useful in TypeScript, I have created a simple web page that contains just one paragraph and two JavaScript files. So the paragraph here says dynamically changed by TypeScript and it also has the ID hello. And then also includes two JavaScript files. The first one that we include is jQuery. And then the second one is our app.js file with our main logic in. Now with my app.ts, I just have some jQuery that says when the document is ready, you take the element with ID hello, you change the HTML code, and you change it to hello world, and then you apply some CSS. Now don't pay attention to this code. This is really simple just to get my point uh, across. And you notice that TypeScript complains about the dollar sign because it doesn't know what the dollar sign exactly is. It doesn't know any of its properties or methods. It just thinks it's a variable that you forgot to declare. Now what we want to say to TypeScript is that the dollar sign is a variable that will be available because we have loaded it in our index.html file and we also want to say what properties this dollar sign has. So for example, in jQuery, you can do dollar sign dot Ajax to make an Ajax call, for example. But you'll notice that if I do that right here, if I just say dollar sign dot, I don't get any autocomplete. And if I ask for autocomplete, it just gives these you know, bad auto suggestions. So in the previous videos, I've showed you how to create interfaces. And what we want to do right now is actually create a bunch of interfaces and tell TypeScript how jQuery functions, which methods it has, and what parameters each method takes. But obviously that would take a lot of time to do. Now, luckily though, we don't have to do this for popular frameworks like for example, jQuery, because the community has actually created a type definition for TypeScript. Now, where can you find these typings, you might wonder? Well, there is a special organization under NPM that includes all the different type definitions for uh, frameworks. So if we go here to NPM and we go to the types organizations, then you can see that they have 2,880 packages available. And if you scroll through this list, you notice that they have typings for a lot of popular JavaScript frameworks. So for example, Angular is in here, Angular 2. Uh, you'll also find jQuery in here. So let's look for jQuery now. I'm gonna say at types slash, I'm gonna search for jQuery. And there you go. Here are all the type definitions that exist for jQuery. So there's obviously the definitions for jQuery itself, but also for uh, jQuery block UI for data tables for a lot of jQuery plugins. Now we're interested only in jQuery. So take note of this name. It's at type slash jQuery. And now we're going to install them in our project. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code here. Let's open up the terminal. And now I'm going to ask NPM to download and install the type definitions for jQuery. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say NPM install. Then I'm going to say dash dash save because we want to save these definitions to uh, disk in our project. And then I'm just going to say add types slash jQuery. And if I run this, NPM will go out to the registry, will download the type definitions and will put them in the node modules directory. And as you can see, it has created the node modules directory. It has created a subdirectory for all our types. Again, a subdirectory for jQuery. And in here we see index.d.ts and d.ts, that's the extension for type definitions in TypeScript. So if I open this up, you'll, you can see that this includes a bunch of interfaces that basically explain TypeScript, what methods uh, jQuery has and what arguments those methods take. So for example, here's an interface for the Ajax settings in jQuery. And you can see that all the options that you can set for an Ajax call are documented here, including which types they return, which parameters they take, and much more. So let's go back to our app.ts file. You notice that it still isn't satisfied because it still cannot find the dollar sign name. Well, 
To fix this, you can either import the jQuery typings file or you can reference it. So in this case, for the jQuery typings, you need to reference them. And the way you do that is by typing triple slash and then you're going to reference a path into your project. So we want to reference node modules types jQuery index.ts. And if I do that, you'll notice that all my errors go away. TypeScript is happy now because it knows the dollar sign variable and it knows that that's an instance of jQuery static. And now because of the type definitions, we get a lot better autocomplete. So if I go ahead and type dollar sign dot, I get all the jQuery options here. So I can make an Ajax call, for example, here, and I can give it some uh, parameters here. And let's pull up the autocomplete once more. And there is the autocomplete for uh, an Ajax call. And I can see everything that is available to me. So I can say, well, I want to make an Ajax call to a URL. And it says URL should be of type string. And it even gives me some documentation. It says a string containing the URL to which the request is sent. And so now I know that, oh, okay, I have to give it a string with the URL of a website, for example. And it will also warn you if you make a mistake. So if I say URL 10, then it's going to say, well, URL should be of type string. So you've probably done something wrong here. Now, there's one final thing that I want to show you. If I go back to Chrome here, you'll notice that it's kind of cumbersome to search through uh, the type definitions uh, this way. Now, there's also a website from Microsoft that makes this a little bit easier and it's called type search. So this is the URL HTTPS microsoft.github.io slash type search. So I can search for jQuery and you can see the results popping up right here. But I can also search for Angular, for example, and have all the types popping up right here. Or I can search for other frameworks like Vue or whatever. So that was it for this video. Definitely check out the rest of this series if you want to learn more about TypeScript. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.